It's January 1st, 2012, a great time to start the workbook from A Course in Miracles, Lesson 1 on the first day of the year. I'd like to make uh, comments on the workbook lessons this year. Lesson 1 is, nothing I see in this room, on this street, from this window, in this place, means anything. Now, nobody can do the workbook for you, and the workbook cannot be explained. So, you need to do it for yourself, cultivate a relationship with the Holy Spirit, work with your inner teacher, and yet, there are um, questions that come up along the way, and it's nice to have a human being to relate to. Here are some things that stood out for me about this first lesson, which is saying essentially that nothing we see means anything. I found that that could be a very scary feeling. I could literally feel a gasp inside of me or um, a kind of retraction. I could feel goosebumps. Sometimes I just felt sort of numbed out. I've done the workbook uh, about four times. This would be my fifth round with you. And the other thing that I feel doing it today is an opening. I feel an expansion within my chest. I feel a sense of promise, a liberation from the confines of the small definitions that we apply to form. And I feel a sense of uh, really knowing myself as a light body instead of a flesh and blood body. So I'll leave it there for now, let you contemplate that. And I'll just comment on two other things. This lesson says to apply it indiscriminately and uh, to be careful not to specifically omit anything from the practice. We would only do that if we were trying to uh, keep something to ourselves that we were afraid to give to God. So if that's happening for you, just notice. You know, maybe we can uh, say this hand doesn't mean anything, this computer doesn't mean anything, that tree doesn't mean anything, the sky doesn't mean anything. But maybe we have a hard time saying, my child doesn't mean anything. So let yourself um, experience whatever you experience and give everything to the Holy Spirit. Simply tell Spirit, I'm having trouble giving everything to you because I'm afraid I'll take a loss and I don't yet believe that I will be extended and enhanced by your love. And see what happens when you go there. I think there was one other bit. Um, oh yes, it says make sure that the exercises don't become ritualistic. So we don't want to do them perfectly because that would be the ego playing God. We don't have to apply it to everything. We just have to be open to its application to everything. I hope that's helpful. If you'd like to hear the lesson read in its entirety by me, just go to YouTube and search for Lesson 1 Amy Torres. Namaste.